Merry Christmas from the Master of One podcast. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this Children. is a special episode that is just for you, just for Christmas. We're going to make it short. We're going to make it sweet. It's going to be a beautiful Christmas. What can Christmas be without bullets, beer, and holiday cheer? I didn't realize we were splitting that into three, but that's okay <laughs> with me. Um, we are talking about El Camino Christmas. It is a Netflix uh, holiday special, an original. And uh, if you haven't watched mm. it yet, <laughs> you're probably better for it. Um, it's a this gem. movie. It is a gem. It is, it a, is a hol- diamond I think in it, the dust. I think diamond in the dust. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because the desert. Because El Camino. Uh, it's like finding a diamond in the desert. Yeah, it's like no, it is not at diamond. all. The fe- no, the feelings I would experience in that case are very different than El Camino. I will it's say like this a lump though: of coal it mi- in it m- the desert. <laughs> it might be though a like holiday a tradition moving forward, though. Oh, absolutely! For me, it is like absolutely. Yeah. So here's what we're gonna do: This is a quick episode. This is just for Christmas, just a special episode. Um, and if you haven't seen the movie, probably just don't watch this episode or watch this episode in anticipation of the movie. Yes. I don't think we'll right. ruin anything for you. But uh, but it's going to be quick. It's uh, it's going to be fun. Um, but we decided to do a, a film review of El Camino Christmas, mm-hmm. Netflix's new holiday tradition. Masterpiece. Um, masterpiece. It's a masterwork. Uh, and uh, so here we go. So, Patrick, why don't you give everybody oh. a quick rundown of what the film is about? Yeah, so the idea is that um, there is a, a crime that has taken place at the local liquor mart, right? And, and cops have been called, and there's a standoff of sorts. It happens around the Christmas time, although really Christmas barely, like, really doesn't really play in the movie at all. But, um, but, but that's what it is. There's, there's like four people or five people in the liquor mart, hostage situation, local police officers involved, and then it becomes it starts unfolding. You start learning about the people, the the backgrounds of the people we that are involved. We should keep this and, story keep this uh spoiler free, right? I mean, I feel yeah, like sure. we don't need sure, to Sure, that's say and spoilers, that's that's what I'm trying to do. So you start you start learning about the backgrounds of the people involved and maybe some of their motivations and you know, it's it's kind of challenging a, a, a bit of the movie is dedicated to challenging small town mentality mm-hmm. uh, or mindset. Sure, and, yeah. And um yeah, that's uh, I don't really know if I could and then as far as the people involved, there's actually a lot of faces that you're going to recognize. It's a good so, cast. I mean, really is. Yeah. The cast uh, the cast is pretty great. Kurt Smith, Red? which you're going to know as Red, yeah. Yeah. Um Dak Shepard. Yep. Um the uh, uh Tim Allen, Vincent which D'Onofrio. is probably the most surprising role for me is Tim Allen. Tim Allen is a surprising role for the sure. The person he he played and and yeah. it just it's crazy. So um, what'd you say, yeah. Luke? Who'd you say? Vincent D'Onofrio, Jessica mm-hmm. Alba, Jessica Alba, Albana. Luke, I forgot Luke about Grimes. Jessica Alba. Luke Grimes. Who? Luke Grimes, the main character. I don't know who that is as an actor, but I what, thought Magnificent Seven, American I Sniper. You kept, I thought you kept saying I haven't seen either one of those movies. I thought oh. you kept saying Rick Grimes. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did he play in Magnificent Seven? He was Teddy Q. Which one's Teddy Q? I, I don't I'm know. Sorry, guys. I, I have mean, to look this up. This him. is important. You saw the movie. I did see the movie, but I just don't remember him in the movie. I did see both of those movies. Oh, he's I also just... from True Blood. So Yeah. yeah. So he's anyway, a, the point is it's not a bunch for of me. Nobodies. When you have Tim Allen, it's hard to see anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, so um, anyway, but that's kind of the, that's the, uh, the overview of what the film's about. Now, that being said, it's supposed to be a comedy. And I say um, supposed to because it isn't in that it isn't funny. But then there's a certain point where it's the, great. It's not funny for the reasons that it feels like it's it should supposed be funny. to be. There's a point where it just becomes absolute uh, anti comedy, which is hilarious. Like yes. it is yeah. missing so much um, that the movie. Like I know that by the time we got to the end of the movie. Uh, we were all just like doubling over laughing at, at some of the scenes. Mm-hmm. So um, it, it's, it got ridiculous to the point where it's so unbelievable that you're just like, you've bought into this, the, the alternate reality that is this movie, but they don't try to present it as an alternate reality. They just try right. to present it as normal life. Andrew, how did you just, you, I think it was you that had a description of like what the movie was like a cross between this and this. Do you remember how you described it? I don't. Nope. You called it like a Hallmark film. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and then what was the other one? 
I don't remember. <laughs> That's the reason it, I asked you is, if you like, remember. It's like a Hallmark Christmas movie if Netflix made, uh, if, if if there was a Hallmark Christmas movie made for diehard fans. Like yes. that's kind of, that's sure. how it feels to me. That's not how I described it the other day, but that is, that's that's how it feels to me. Like it's like Hallmark um, Christmas meets Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, that's a good that's a good description of it. I so, think it's a it, it's it's one of those things where um, you watch it for the people who are in it. Honestly, that's why we watched it. And about forty minutes into the movie, it's like a ninety minute movie, right? Yeah, yeah it's not that not long. long. It's not it's like long. ninety minutes. Um, about 40 minutes into the movie, maybe 45 minutes into the movie, so halfway through, um, you've real you realized you've passed the threshold where you should have turned it off, and then you finish watching it, and then you're glad you actually finished watching it. Yeah. Not because it not because it had the the redeeming payoff that you would expect that it would have, but because you have found a like subversive reason that you should be watching it that is not why they want you to be watching it. Yeah. I think they I think they fell ass backwards into a holiday cult film. Yeah. I think that's what they did. <laughs> there is I will say this. I will say this. Um there is uh Emilio Rivera, I think that's the actor's yeah. name. The the entire movie, if you're sitting down to watch it and you're like five minutes in, ten minutes in, and you realize this is no good. The entire movie is worth it to see what happens with his character. Yeah, yeah, I absolutely, I would agree with that in spades. <laughs> um, or since this is Christmas, I'll say in mistletoes. That is the uh, reason. I will literally, I I will absolutely rewatch this film. But I, oh, I will yeah, rewatch sure. this film t- for Emilio, and I'll rewatch this film for the, the kind of last joke told at the bar. So this is no, Christmas. So this is Christmas also, Day when this is. There's also a shootout that is great. Yeah. And then. <laughs> yeah. Just, That's around the mid I think, the, Yeah. I think Dax Shepard's character in general is just perfect. Like he's like that. Oh. He's a good guy, but he's kind of like a dummy. It's just. He's great. He's Dax hey, Shepard. Here's a here's here's a good here. I I leaned over to you because Luke or because Patrick, you've seen um, three billboards over Ebbing, Missouri, or yes. outside Ebbing, Missouri, whatever it is. Um, it, it the movie plays like a Hallmark Christmas movie version of that, of like those officers and yeah, and that just that whole story. Don't the respond whole, to her when she calls you. Yeah, yeah. It, it's <laughs> it's. And in that way, it's actually it is an actual masterwork. And and I I, I hasten, uh, or I'm I'm hesitant, not hasten. I I'm hesitant to say this, but maybe this is what they intended to do with sure. it. And they're and they're like super proud of how this no. how it worked. But I feel like it probably wasn't. I feel like they they made a mistake, but it worked out. No, <laughs> so, there's no way that this is this is obviously a little tongue in cheek. It, it no, no, no. This is intentional and it's bad. But no, but it's but it is great. Uh and some people actually do like it. So for instance, Gabe Barletta, he's in the Slack. He like went it. and watched it. I'm not I'm not saying that I I mean it's a bad film. But the I film will watch it again. It's a bad it's film. It's a bad film. Gabe really liked it. I mean, he like I don't know if it's for the same reasons we liked it. I think he thought it was an enjoyable, easy watch. Well, okay, so think about think about movies like uh The Room or Troll 2. Yeah. Like right, so these are movies that are that are so quintessentially bad or bright. that you have to watch them. No, these movies are so quintessentially bad and so under, uh, like, overarchingly or, understood as bad Last filmmaking Jedi. that it shut, shut up. up. But that's but that people have have developed a a love for it. This is going to be one of those movies. It's it's campy enough, but I think it's unintentionally campy. Yeah. But I love it. I think I love it. So, so this it's Christmas Day. El Camino Christmas. Snuggle up with the family. Yeah. If their Watch family it, is over up. 16. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, not Well, not I was going to say, don't, not, kid not kids. Tim Allen has a potty mouth in yeah, this film. Yeah, 16 or over. <laughs> he, he definitely has taken a couple of uh, Liberties. steps forward or backward, depending on your opinion, um, since the Santa Claus. <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. This is, if you like the Santa Claus, you'll hate El Camino. But it, it doesn't mean you'll like El Camino. He's got a good redemption. Let's leave huh? it at that. There's a redemption. So anyway, uh, watch the film, um, make it through it, and I think you will end up having a good time. If and you then make tell it through us. It. Tell us what you Absolutely. think. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Hashtag M of one El Camino. But guys, yes. real quick, do y'all have any other favorite holiday movies? It is Christmas Day. Do you have any favorites that, that you want to uh, shout National out? National Lampoon's Christmas. 
Because National is Lampoon's an- is a winner. So we had. So I, I put this out there. I was going to say this at the end. So I put this out there. There's a thread on our Slack channel. If you haven't um, been following that, uh, there's a thread on there that is specifically about Christmas movies. So I wanted to do a quick rundown and see if there's any that um, that you guys disagree with or agree with or whatever. So we got Home Alone. Yep. Okay. Gabe yep. Barletta, as well as a thousand other people, Absolutely. said Home Alone. He was the first one to respond. A Christmas Story, you know, that runs all day long on TBS. You get 24 yeah. hours of it. We'll watch it at least once all the way through this season. Um, Luke, you're in Ohio. You're not that far from the house. It's true. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Have you been to the house? Nope. Oh, I've been. It's good. It's cool. Um, the, There's lines see, around Elf. the block at this time of the year. Oh There's yeah, no way I'm sure. going this time of year. Elf and the Santa Claus. Okay, both. So yeah. Brittany, I already said watched that. the Santa Claus this year. Uh, you have? Yeah, me too. I watched it with Cooper. Uh, I watched it by see. myself. It, wow, that's sad. Um, <laughs> yeah, it turns out that uh, I it didn't hold up very well for me. I remember enjoying it a lot when I was younger. Oh, uh, see, I still I still quoted it, but we watched it with Cooper, so okay. it's maybe less sad. Everybody's um, a jerk this, to each other in that film. Design O Matt uh, talked about a Charlie Brown Christmas. Okay. Um, so that's a, a you know yeah, it's uh, on TV. Christmas Charlie Brown. Yeah. Uh, so here was one. It was a kind of a, a dark horse. Chris Reamer said, uh, "Jingle all the way." I was just gonna say that. Jingle yes. all the way. What's the name of the Sinbad, toy? Arnold What's the name of the toy? Turbo Man. So good. Turbo Man. It's a so Turbo good. Man. Turbo um, Man. Jedi Robbie's gave because he doesn't know how to listen to rules. Jedi Robbie's, uh, he gave me three. He said, um, "Jingle all the way, Muppet Christmas Carol, Home Alone." Um, Jingle so all the Christmas way. Carol. So nobody said. Well, I hate I'll the Santa factory. Hang on, there's there's I get there's, out. Uh, there's over forty replies to this. Okay. Um, so let's see if there's any that that miss it. I'm not going to read because several people jumped in and said several things. Um, I'm just kind of sh- yeah, scrolling through. Right. Uh, uh, Christmas, um, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yep. Matt uh, Matt can draw. Said Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, Jedi Robbie's popped back in and said, "Anyone else enjoy Ernest Saves Christmas?" That's a great one, and I forget yeah, about okay. it all the time. Never um, seen it. Ernest it's not goes as, to jail, and Ernest goes to camp are better. I've seen Ernest, Ernest scared goes stupid. To camp. I think is the best one. Ernest no, scared stupid. No. Yeah. Um, is he dead? Let's see. Yes, he's dead. Uh, favorite Nanka. Da, 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 da. Polar Express. B Pair said Polar Express. It doesn't hold I've up. Never we seen watched that. it. We watched I've never it. Never seen it. Hold up. Um, Jared Mariama kind of pops in and agrees with everybody. It seems like uh, oh, he safe. likes all of the films. He said. So nobody said Die Hard. Hang on. Oh, it's coming. You know it's coming, right? Um, film dispenser. So Spencer Howard said Muppet Christmas Carol. So that's a second one for that. Trey Sprinkle said Elf and Christmas Vacation. Um, oh, so here's one. Uh, who's Wistrand? I don't know who this is. Um, I mean, I know I, they, I only know them by that name. It's I don't Anders, know name. Anders yeah. Wistrand. Um, he said Christmas Vacation and The Snowman, which is a 1982 animated short. Okay. So I had never heard of this. Uh, Jared Mariama pops in and in all cap says love. So like I okay. I mean, so maybe I should look up the snowman. Yeah. So finally, halfway through the thread, um, we see uh, Die Hard one and two. Nice. So uh, Lenny Terenzi, Christmas Vacation. Jim uh, Jim Dawson says Elf, followed by Christmas Vacation. Uh, Doc Reedicus. Doc Reed says Die Hard. Tradition. Yes. They watch it. He and his, his family watch it together. His dad and brothers watch it together. I'm trying to see if there's any additional ones that I'm not seeing. Oh, and finally, to cap this whole thing off, it's Dave Clayton pops in and says, Come on, Andrew, we both know the answer to this and why it's <laughs> love, love actually. actually. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I so. hate that film. I didn't want to say it with Dave on the show. <laughs> I hate Love Actually. I like oh it. my never, gosh, I hate that film. I've never seen it. I am totally I've fine never with it. The only it's funny great. part is um, it's not a comedy. It's not supposed to be a comedy. It's just a holiday film. Yeah. No, no but it's it's like seven people's lives, yeah. and they're all like whatever. I think the, you're thinking of the Magnificent Seven. The guy and the girl that like every time they pop up, they end up more and more like disrobed or like <laughs> naked or whatever. 
That's the only like uh, story that I thought that was hilarious. Yeah, because you love nudity. Let's just <laughs> no, be honest. The way it was handled, I can't remember the names right now. It was really funny. But, but if um, you're looking right. for it to be a comedy, then you're not going to like it. No, I was looking for it to be a movie that was enjoyable to sit through, and I didn't find right. that. Okay. So on this Christmas Day, this joyous Christmas Day, Let's if your fight. movie, if your movie wasn't listed Ernest in that died list, in 2000. That, that seems like a Jim pretty. Barney extensive uh a pretty extensive and expansive list if there's something that's off that list that you know has to make it on there uh instagram us tweet us drop in the uh drop it in the slack thread um but uh for now i think we're gonna head wait, out wait. of here before before all that we want to hear about el camino christmas watch it and tell well, us yeah. hashtag we already said that. el camino yeah. but we don't want to you- forget that more okay. than what your Christmas movie is, watch El Camino Christmas. And tell us what. Yeah, you this we will, don't care about will, your Christmas movie. This no. will Merry become. Christmas. This will become your Christmas movie. Yes, I think we yes. can all agree this is now our Christmas movie. Yes, uh-huh. um, and uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna see if I can watch it uh, tonight with the family. Um, once Cooper goes to bed, I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be great. So um, we're going to get out of this episode, though. Find us on all the different uh, channels. Just go to M of One Podcast. Find us on the website, M of One Podcast.com, where you can find show notes and links if you're watching this on YouTube. If they're just below us right here. Um, and, uh, man, join the conversation on Slack. Uh, yeah. We just riddled off a whole bunch of Slack channel uh, contributors. There's so many more. You should be on there, too. Uh, subscribe, like, share, follow, all the different things and all the different different platforms you don't need me to coach you through this you know how the internet works we're gonna get out of here for now though i'm andrew i'm patrick i'm luke for christmas time peace out ho 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 hold on to those christmas butts